Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines, and we're talking about the Luminar 4 series. Today, I'm just going to show you guys how to crop a photo within Luminar. Stay tuned. Uh, remember that I am a Luminar partner, and if you want the discount code, go into the description, click the link, and then after that, click the discount code to get ten dollars off listen this is a very simple video on just a simple thing but if you've been working in photoshop or any other sort of interface it's always fun to know how to do something in another software and today we're just going to look at crop really quick most likely when you open your software you're going to get this sort of interface or the interface with the instant looks at the bottom i like to work manually myself i don't use the instant looks that much I use them sometimes when I want to go really quick, but I do not. So I'm just going to put it into this interface right now and show you that on this right side right here, you have all the different types of ways you can affect your photo within Luminar. If you want to crop your photo, I just wanted to show you some of the features you have uh, within uh, Luminar. Uh, what you're going to do is go up here to the top right and click on Canvas. When you click on that, you're going to have a couple of different things you can do. There's crop and rotate, erase, clone, and stamp. So what we're going to do right now is go crop and rotate. We click on crop and rotate. And we're launched into the crop interface. Uh, most important here is what's happening right at the top here. Now, uh, reset is obviously reset. Let's say you've done a lot of changes and you want to go back to an old... Uh, uh, version you can always reset and start your crop over uh, here you're working with your rules of thirds so it's just the way your crop is displayed if I click on this button right here you can see that the thirds that are given are a bit different and uh, it's just a way to make uh, continue your composition within your crop so I like to keep it standard and leave it like it is angle view is the actual angle because you can go and basically play with what sort of angle you want this shot to be do you want it rotated in my case you know i always shoot very crooked and i'm still to this day do not know why something about my perception i see stuff straight but i shoot just crooked a tad so but when i get my software i seem to be fine but this is the way to affect your angle so let's say you've got a crop and it's this big so like photoshop if you want to affect your angle as soon as you go and play with the angle a tiny bit it will crop in a bit just to make sure that you fill the frame but you do play with your angle right here so in this little spot right here you can actually just use the slider to play with your angle it is fairly accurate and does a pretty darn good job Pull this out a tiny bit. Remember that you can also play with your angle like in Photoshop. Anyone using Photoshop knows that you can, if you pull your cursor out far enough, you'll get the little double arrow thing here. And you can play with your angle with your mouse as well. But you do have the slider and pulling out your mouse for the angle. And you can play with your angles, get your shot, compose it. Let me just compose this, see what I want here. Let's say I want something like that. But the thing is, is that I got too much sky and I want to get the subjects in more. I want to change my ratio. Well, over here, you have a little button here and it's a lock button. This little lock button is basically just telling you, uh, I want to lock into a specific aspect ratio. So if you unlock that, you can freeform the way you want your crop to be like this. So you can play with that as long as it's unlocked. So let's see here, Instagrammy. Now, there you go. So you can play with that and uh, have fun with that. However, if you want to make sure that your ratio is right, you just press a little lock button there. It'll bring you back to a ratio and you can go play with your aspect ratios. Now, it has all the standards here. Original as shot, uh, uh, transpose, 1610, 79, 7.5. A lot of different ratios that are kind of fun. I like the fact that it offers a lot of different aspect ratios. It's always a lot of fun. It offers 1-1, one, one, so anyone doing Instagram will want to use that 1-1 one, one square. And it also offers a couple of really cool things in here, Facebook uh, cover and uh, Facebook feed. So it offers you uh, stuff that you might use on social media. Uh, there is also the button here to enter custom, which you can do by just clicking that button and entering your aspect ratio here. So if you're artistic or you want to 
play with your aspect ratio. I did a whole series where I just did these really thin, tall photos. So, you know, my aspect ratio was really weird. So it is kind of fun to actually play with your custom aspect ratio. But let's say we want to do Instagram on this one. We press square and now everything is locked into a square aspect ratio. Let's pull this out. Let's get just the street. There you go. Again, my street is crooked, so you can either go to the slider here or you can just pull your your mouse out a bit further from the square and do your adjustment. Once all those adjustments are done, you can just press done and poof, your crop is done. That's all I wanted to show you on the cropping interface. There it is, guys. So you can look at that and check it out. Hope you enjoyed. You guys, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.